After checking the measurement results, you can now start to document it. With both models, A12C and A12R, it is possible to print a measurement report as well as a self-adhesive label. The internal patient database is only available in the A12C model. Touch the printer button in the navigation bar. To be able to uniquely identify a patient in the database, enter the patient's name or a patient ID via the screen keyboard. As an option, date of birth, examination location, and or contact information can also be saved in the database. Simply enter the patient's personal data, separated with a space character, via the screen keyboard. For example, Emily Atlanta. The number below the entry line is the number of existing entries with the same letter string. If there are four or less already entered patient data entries with the same letter string, they are portrayed instead of the number. If you want to assign this measurement to one of them, you just need to touch the right patient. If you want to create a new entry, you need to type in more patient data until there are no other entries with the same letter string left. This is necessary to be able to uniquely identify a patient in the patient database. Now, assign the patient data to the corresponding fields by touching it in order of your entry. Emily is the first name. Atlanta is the optional entry location. After assignment of all entered data, the screen changes to the next page of the entry mask. In case of missing but necessary data, the corresponding field will be marked in red. In the Plus Optics A12R model, a single line to enter individual patient data will be displayed. This data cannot be saved to the patient database, but will be shown on all printouts for this measurement. Touch the green check mark in the navigation bar to confirm your entry. For an anonymous measurement, touch the green check mark without entering patient data. Instead of the patient's name or ID, an automatically assigned rolling number will be used. Simply hold the device directed towards the label printer Plus Optics P12 to print a self adhesive label. The measurement report saved on the SD card shows the camera image as well as all measurement values. Please note that these measurement values cannot be used for the prescription of glasses or contact lenses. The upper and lower side of the page allows for a customized info column to be shown. Instructions for designing a customized info column can be found in the user manual. To help increase the willingness of parents to seek further treatment for their children, the measurement report which is saved on the provided SD card can be printed for that purpose. There are three options. The SD card can be directly inserted into an available computer. In this case, the screening report can be manually directed to a printer that is connected to the computer. Secondly, the Plus Optics A12C can be connected to a network router via the WLAN interface. Enter the displayed network path into the address bar of your Windows Explorer or Apple Finder. Measurement reports that are saved on the SD card are portrayed after confirmation of your entry and can then be printed manually on a printer that is connected to your workplace computer. The third option is the automated printing of measurement reports by using the free software Plus Optics Connect. The Plus Optics A12C must be connected to the network via WLAN 2. The measurement reports stored on the SD card can now be printed out automatically on a printer that is connected to your workplace computer. As an alternative to the manual entry of the patient data, the Plus Optics A12C can also be connected to your electronic medical record for CSV data exchange and measurement report printing. In this case, you simply choose patient data in your electronic medical record and transfer it to the Plus Optics device. After starting the measurement on the Plus Optics device, all measurement results will directly be retransferred 
and finally saved automatically to your electronic medical record. For further information concerning the connection to your electronic medical record, please have a look at our homepage under Support.